Hello students, hope you are doing well at your home. I am Ritu Joshi, your computer teacher, once again with another lesson of computers. In our last class, we have done word processor uh, tabular presentation. And in this, in this particular lesson, you have learned about how to create tables in MS Word, how to uh, add or delete the rows in a table. So today, in today's class, we will do more about the tabular presentation of MS Word. Hope you will enjoy today's lesson. So let's proceed with the chapter. Lesson number three of the chapter three word processor tabular presentation. In the last class we have seen in word processor like MS Word how to create the tables. Okay and uh, how to work with the table. Now in today's class further we have to go what we can do else with the tabular presentation. So let's take a quick recap uh, what we learned in our last, what we had learned in our last class. Uh, in the last class we have learned about the introduction to table. What is a table? Okay and why we are using the table. Apart from this we did creating a table, how to create the tables, the various ways are there to, for creating the tables. We did all the ways to create the table. Hope you did the practice of it also. Then we did selecting cell, row, column and table using a mouse. How you will have to select the cell, row, column and table with the mouse. Then selecting the text inside a cell. Then editing a table. How you make changes on the table. And last we did formatting a table. How to do the formatting. How to uh, change the different uh, style, shading. Only the introductory part we did of formatting a table. So today we proceed only with this formatting a table. Okay, so just look at here at the screen. It's, these are the learnings for today's class. What we are go going to learn today. We are going to learn today changing row height, changing column width. Splitting cells, merging cells, apply border and shading. Okay, so these are the learning uh, we'll do from this class. So, just carefully watch the video. And whatever I'm teaching you today, you just have to try it at your home also. So, we can start the chapter. So, first topic is changing row height. How we can change the row height? We know that uh, in your last class I told you that in table there is a row and columns are there. Okay, and wherever the intersection of rows and columns are there, that is called the cell. So here we have to come, like in some situation, we need to change the height of the row. Whatever the standard size is there or the default size is there. Apart from this, we have to change the size of the table. We want to make it big. We want to make it small. Then how we do have the changes. Uh, for this, we have to follow the following steps, which are shown on the screen also. Whichever row you would like to change, whichever row's height you would like to change, you have to select that row first. Okay. So first of all, we have to select the row. Then we have to, in the same row, we did right click. We know that whenever we do the right click, the pop-up menu will come. Okay. And from the pop-up menu, we will have to select the table properties. Okay. So first of all, you will have to select the row. Then right click over the same row and select table properties option. After selecting the table properties, you will see a dialog box will come in your screen. I later on show you that particular dialog box. A dialog box will come on the screen and from the dialog box you will have to select the option is there the size under size you will find the option specify height check checkbox and before changing the height you will have to select that checkbox okay and what is the name of the checkbox right specify height after selecting the check checkbox 
specify the height either by typing or clicking the spin button you have seen the spin button is there the one button is for the increasing height and other is for the decreasing height okay so after specifying the height you have to either just type it there if you sure about the height if you doesn't show you use the spin button to increase or decrease the height once you will get satisfied whatever changes you did after that you just have to click ok in the dialog box and after that you will see the height of the row will get changed i'll show you the screen what is the dialog box of uh, table properties as in when you right click on the screen sorry uh, as in when you right click on the row that particular table properties after selecting the table properties that particular dialog box will come you see four tabs are there table row column cell okay so you would have to select the row tab clear so in the row tab you will have to come in this particular option this checkbox right now it is selected okay but by default it is not selected you would have to select it if you would like to change the height you have to select this particular checkbox and after that you will have to change the height for increasing you have to click upper button or for decreasing you have to click down button okay once you feel that you have done changes then just simply click on ok button okay so you understand in this dialog box click on row tab then select specify height checkbox then with the help of spin button you can increase or decrease the height and once you satisfied that you have changed properly click on okay button okay by this we can change the height of the row okay next topic was uh, next uh, topic of today's class is changing column width okay after changing the row height we can change the column width okay so if you if you wish to change the column width so these are the steps you have to follow and by you can change the column width either by using pointer available in layout tab or using the mouse pointer okay both the ways we can change the column width okay what are the ways the first way we have to select the column okay for which we would like to change the column width the same way we did in the table we right click over the selected column okay we will have to right click over the selected column then pop up menu will come and from which you have to select the table properties okay this is the one way to change the column width okay another way is there you go to the layout tab okay like home tab insert tab the same way layout tab is there in the main menu you would have to select the layout tab okay once you select the layout tab it will show the different buttons in the uh, screen you would have to select the which button properties button okay you have to select the properties button once you select the properties button it will show you the same dialog box which you have already seen in the uh, in changing the row height okay so it will when you click on the properties button it will show the table properties dialog box okay and the same way we will have to come to the column tab okay and change the column height okay i'll show you through the picture here you can see this is layout tab okay we have to come to the layout tab then we click it on the properties tab okay this is layout tab okay then it will show these buttons like this here you will find the properties button once you click on the properties button this particular dialog box will come here we have to come in column tab okay now select the preferred width and for this we can change the width like up increase and down decrease okay and once we get satisfied that we have changed the width properly just click it on the okay button okay and by which we can change the column width okay okay now a third topic for today is 
splitting cells. Do you know the meaning of splitting cell? What is the meaning of split? Split is basically a division. Okay. So the same things work over here. Splitting a cell means dividing the selected cell into separate cell. Okay. Sometimes a condition is there like we have to uh, divide a cell in two rows or we divide the cell in two columns or something we would like to divide the particular cell in two rows two columns likewise okay so for this purpose we have to do the splitting cells so let's just take a look of what are the step of uh, steps of splitting cells select the cell that you want to split okay first of all whenever whatever we would like to do in a table we have to select the specific thing Without selecting, we cannot do anything. Okay. So here also, we have to select the specific cell which we want to split. Okay. After doing the, uh, after selection has done, you will have to click on the layout tab. Okay. We did layer, we select the layout tab for changing the column width also. The same way we can change, uh, we can use the layout tab for splitting the cell. So just click it over the layout tab. You will show the different buttons are there. So here you will have to come to the merge group. Okay. Under merge group, you will find the split cell button. Okay. So in the split cell button, once you click on the split cell button, a dialog box will come where you have to specify the rows and column. Okay. Whatever the division you want, you have to specify it there. Okay, once you specified your division, your rows and column and then click on OK. Now you will see that your particular cell gets split in number of rows or number of columns. It is not necessary you split in both rows and column. You can split in only rows. You can split it only columns or you can split in both rows and columns. Let me explain you through the uh, screen. So. Here you can see uh, that a particular cell is selected, okay, and once you click on layout button and then come to the split cell and under the merge group, you have selected the split cell button, then this particular dialog box will come, okay. Here you have to specify, either you can type or you can increase with decrease and increase button. Here you specify the columns and here you specify the row, okay. So, once you specified it, once you clear that you did it properly, just click on OK button and you will find your particular selected cell in split in on those. Like in this case, your particular cell is split in two columns. Okay, so this is splitting cell. Select layout, come to the merge group and the split button. Dialog box will come, specifies number of columns or the rows. And click on OK. It is not necessary you have to specify. In this case we can do the reverse also. We can uh, give one column and two rows. Okay. Or we can do that two rows, two columns. Okay. It depends on us. Like what kind of split we need on to the set. Okay. So our next topic is merging set. So after splitting, if you feel that your split is not proper, you want to come to your original position or sometimes your split cell are there, you want to combine them, then we have to do the merging cells. Sometimes we need to combine data in a single cell. Merging cell provide a way to consolidate data in a one cell. Okay. Sometimes a situation is there. We would like the data in a, suppose our data in four cells. But we want that data should come in single cell, one cell. Then we have to choose the option merge cell. Okay. So just have a look of uh, the steps uh, for merging cells. Uh, select the cell you want to merge. We have to select the cell which we want to merge. Okay. Then click on layout tab and select the merge cell from the merge group. Okay. The same way we did for the splitting cell. Okay. The only thing, only difference is there. Uh, in splitting cell, we click on the split button. In merge cell, we have to click on the merge button. Okay. So, whichever cell we want to merge, 
uh, we we have to select that particular cell okay then click on layout tab then come to the merge group and just click it over the merge cell so whatever division is there it is converted into a single cell let me explain you through the screen okay here you can see that okay the merge cell to combine selected cell have you seen the merge button is there just click it over there and these two divisions are there they are converted into a single cell clear okay our last topic for today is applying border and shading so we can enhance the appearance of a table by applying a variety of borders and shading style steps are select the entire table by clicking the table move handle okay now we have to come what is table move handle okay once we have created a table you must have seen a plus sign over there okay the right hand side extreme right corner you see the uh, plus sign that is called the table move handle okay if you drag the mouse uh, just click it over the mouse and drag and drop the table somewhere else okay that is the table move handle okay enhance the appearance like if you would like to change we we would like to make our table attractive then we can use the apply border and shading options so how we can do that we have to click like after selecting the table first of all we have to select entire table as i told you whichever things we would like to do with any of the cell or the row or the column first we have to select that so here we have to do with the entire table so we have to select the entire table okay now click on the design tab likewise we were click, uh, clicking layout tab for the uh, split merge or the column uh, here we have to choose the design tab change the line style and line width option from the draw border group so under the design tab you can find various groups there's a one group is there draw borders group okay and under that group you can change the line style and line width what is the line style how what kind of line you want to draw in the border okay another weight is how broad line you would like to draw okay aapko kitni broad line chahiye kitni thick line chahiye that you have to decide to the line width click on draw border button select the border and shading option from the list okay now click on apply to select the table aapne border uh, and shading list for there uh, you would have to select the any options from there and click on apply to apply on the selected table to give color effects to your table click on fill color option and choose any shade okay and the same you can find the fill color option also if you would like to change the color of your table uh you would have to select the specific color which you would like to fill in the table and uh, choose any particular shade and after doing all this you just have to click okay okay so let me show you through the screen here you can see that the table tools are there we have to click it on the design and you can see the shading options are here when you when you click here you can find number of shading option these are the border style this is the thickness of the like line width whichever width you want okay and here the different table designs are there you can see that whichever design you want in your table you just have to click it over there and it will apply to your table okay now just take a quick recap what we learned today uh today we learned changing row height how to change the height of a row changing column width splitting cell how to divide a cell in number of cells merging cell how to convert number of cells into a one cell and how we can change the appearance of a table through applying border and shading i'm also going to show you how to do practically all these things okay in this video you just have to 
just keep wash them clay carefully so that you can do it easily and after uh, watching this if you have computer available with you just do the practice of creating a table and whatever the option related with the table i told you just do the practice of it okay then you can easily do uh, this uh, tabular presentation which is in ms word students one more thing i would like to tell you today along with this video i'm giving you handout of the chapter means i'm giving you the whole chapter you just go through with the whole chapter okay the chapter word process uh, uh, sorry i'm giving you the whole chapter of chapter number 1 which was categories of computers and computer languages okay and after that chapter i'm giving you also the question and answers of the chapter that's what the solve question and answers are there you have to, you need to do these question and answers in your copy and whichever the exercises are there i'm also giving the answer uh, given the answer of fill in the blanks true and false multiple choices application based questions you need to do these in your book only later on not right now you have to do in your copy in copy you only need to do question and answers okay and whichever fill in the blanks or multiple choice true or false application based whatever is given you need to do in your book later on but just keep with you safely so that later on once you will purchase the book you can do it in your book so student uh, in the last class students in the last class we have learned about how to insert tables uh, how to uh, do the editing in the table how we can do the, uh, the insert row and delete row and column so today i am going to uh, tell you the different thing in the practical which is related to the table also for that first of all i am going to create a table okay so a table is created now i am going to tell you how to change the height of a, a row and a, a, a change the row height and the column width so first we have to come to how to change the row height for that we have to select the row okay after selecting the row what we have to do we have to right click in the row and we have to come to the table properties okay in table properties a dialog box has come here you will have to select the row tab okay in the row tab you will get the option size and under this you get the check box specify height you will have to select this particular check box okay so either you directly write the height here or here the spin buttons are there up and down so you have to increase the height from here okay suppose the height i have increased and click okay so you can see that the height of particular row is get increased so what first we what we have done we just have to select the row right click over here select the table properties row tab specify the height here and click okay right so this is the way we can change the height of a row now we have to come to the column we have to select the column okay so this we can do with the two ways either we have to go to the layout okay you can see the layout is here right and you will have to come the properties okay and here you come to the column okay so column also it's given the preferred width is this if you would like to change the preferred width you will have to change it and okay so the width of the column is get changed another way is there you will have to come it here the same way we have changed the row height right click over here come to the table properties okay come in the column section is also there here you decrease the height okay clear yeah. so the two ways are here either go to the layout and the properties or 
If you right click over here, pop up window, pop up dialog box will come. Select on the table properties and change the column width. Okay, understand? So now we have to come to the next one is split rows. Okay, if you want to split a row in number of rows, then how you would have to do this? Uh, we have to come to the layout tab. Okay, suppose you are in home, then you have to select the particular cell, then come to the layout and here you will have to come split cell button. Here you come split cell, it will ask you number of columns and number of rows. Okay, suppose here I have given three columns, one row or three columns and two rows. Okay, and you can see it here. So the whole cell is split into two rows and three columns. Okay, how we have done this? We come to the layout, split cell, dialog box will come where we have to tell how many rows, how many columns we want in this particular cell. Clear? The next is there is two merge cells. Okay, so for this we have to come this layout tab, merge cell and uh, like as in when we click on a merge cell, whichever the split is there, it get removed. Okay, so I'll do it again, come in here, you will have to come, suppose you are in home, you have to come in layout, first of all you select the cell with which you want to merge, oh, so, suppose I would like to merge this, okay, you would have to select this. Okay, then you have to come here layout and merge cell. Okay, so you can see that all other rows get merged. Okay, so this we have done split cell and merge cell. Okay, next we have to come that how we have to change the border uh, style and shading. Okay. So, for that we have to come to we have to select the table first. And we have to come to design. Okay. So, in design we, have, we can select the different table style from here. Clear? Apart from this, you can change the border. Is also from here. Like to change this. Okay, you can change the border here. Like this. Okay. And if you want to like Shading, if you want to give, you can change this shading from here. Okay, there is the border. You want that border hole, it will be like this. From here, you have to select the line and change the border. Okay, if you be like the complete border like this, then you have to select this all borders. Okay. From here, you will have to select the different styles like this. Okay, so understand all of you. What we have to do? We have to select the table, whole table. We come in design. Okay, here we can change the size of the line. Here you can do the shading. From where you can select the border. Okay, and here you can select the different table style. So students, hope you will understand the chapter well. For the better understanding of the chapter, you will have to do more practice of this chapter. If you have computer at your home, do the practice of tabular presentation in MS Word. Okay, so you will better understand by doing practically. One more thing I would like to tell you, I'm, along with this video, I am sending you uh, the whole chapter as well as the worksheets of question and answer. So what you can do, 
whichever question and answers I'm giving to you, you will have to do these question and answers in your fair notebook. So happy learning to you. Thank you.